Hello again. Oh my gosh, I have to just pep it up. My name is Monica. This is Not Your Big Sister's Beauty Channel. Why is it called that? I'm going to get this favorites video filmed for you. I have favorites to show you. Things that I've been loving, living, breathing for in the month of March. I have a shoebox full of things and I realized I was like, hold on, I got a whole face full here. What? So I'm going straight in with this. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer. And by concealer, I mean foundation. It's a bottle of foundation. I have the color Medium Tan Sand. And first of all, the dropper on this foundation. Extremely weirdly pleasing. Have I dropped foundation onto my clothes on accident? Yes, I have. But I really like just dropping it onto my face and like feeling like I'm crying tears of foundation. Anyway, I'm just taking a breath. It's gonna be the weirdest video ever. You're gonna be like, why? Why'd you even do this? Answer is to bring the products to you, my friends. It looks very natural up close. It has kind of a like, you can still see the sheen on my skin, but it doesn't have like a greasy um, or like really thick feeling. It's very thin. Um, I just, I feel it. I feel like I can use a couple drops of this and then my face is done. I don't really need to go in with extra concealing except for under my eyes, which I'm gonna do with this concealer. And this is not really a favorite of the month, but um, I wanna tell you what I'm using anyway. I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in tan under my eyes and to prep my eyelids a little bit for eyeshadow that we're gonna go in with. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with powder and I have been effing loving this powder. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder in the color Warm Beige and you can see it's already broken. I've stepped on it and I dropped it. I love my things. So I'm just gonna go in, slap this all over my face with a big old brush or the big old brush. I just love it. It reminds me sort of, sort of, sort of. It reminds me of the MAC Skin Finish, but it's less sheeny. But I've really, I mean, I've been using this every, every day since I bought it. It's so nice. Like, I just like the finish on it. It gives coverage. I think this would be a really good touch-up powder um, during the day if you want to put it in your purse. Like, I have been loving this take a little bit over the eyelids there. Next for eyeshadow, okay, if you caught any of this collection, if you can still get any of this collection online or in stores from MAC, they did a collaboration with three makeup artists. It was Diane Kendall, James Caliardos, and then Kabuki. These are just a couple of items. I got so many items from this collection, but they're just beautiful. This is a cream eyeshadow palette. This is their Dazzle Shadow palette. And the Dazzle Shadows you can purchase individually. If you have never tried them and you like any type of glitter or like pressed glitter, anything like that, I love the MAC Dazzle Shadows. They're just beautiful. I love them so much. Very, um, glittery like fine particles of glitter so maybe I'll just go in with this and let's just see like what's happening I'm gonna go in with this dark brown in the corner because I think oh and I just jammed my finger into the purple so maybe we might get some purple in there I don't know I put concealer on my lids but with a cream shadow like this you don't really have to I'm going in with a little bit of the purple to deepen up the corners a slight bit. But they're just so, so pretty, so easy to work with. I love putting makeup on with my fingers. It takes me to my happy place, like for real. I'm taking some of this like fuchsia right here. Just like slapping it on. No rhyme or reason. I just really love this collection a lot. I love the thought put into the products. Really pretty, really beautiful. Pretty and beautiful. Beautiful. I'm taking the dark purple. And then I'm gonna take 
this this color you can see it's got like a teal reflect in it and it's like a burgundy I feel like makeup companies do that color combo quite a bit so I'm gonna take a little bit of this pink this like warmy pink right here just slap it on in the middle cuz like why not and we're just making a moment we're just like making a moment happen but I really love this collection I have so many other products from it and not disappointed not disappointed at all next let's go in with the brows I have been using three brow products not at the same time this glossier boy brow I will use and then I'll use a powder to kind of shape the brows afterwards or I'll use this NYX tame and frame which is like a pomade or I've really been liking this gel brow pencil from milk in the color Pilsner but I'll use this one I'll use the NYX tame and frame I just lost the cap to that this is the story of my life a spoolie I find is very helpful in the brow application um, and then I'm just gonna kind of take this pomade right through I like that this is a product that gives some color and some hold at the same time I can just go in with this one product in a brush and be done if I can use one product on my brow I'm the happiest princess in the land next let's do some eyeliner I have been using this eyeliner every day this is the eyeliner crave by excuse me mocos crave by urban decay and it's like a brownie black gray it's very <laughs> swatch queen alert excuse me I have to go in with a closer mirror what I was finding was that when I was using like warmer colored shadows like oranges or even warmer browns like sometimes a black looks very looks very harsh or like almost like too high contrast and this I feel kind of fits the bill and it's nice if you still want more definition than just a regular brown. It's defining, but it's subtle at the same time. I really, really like it. Crave from Urban Decay. Do you crave it? I'm sorry. And then let me go in with this mascara. This mascara might be the GOAT mascara. This might be the greatest mascara of all time. This is Maybelline Lash Sensational. And they have like 14 different varieties of black. It's like Black is black, very black, ultra black, blacker than black, I don't know. I don't know which one is the darkest, I, I just went in and I was like, I don't know, biggest and blackest, I don't know. Any of you guys know which is the blackest color? <sighs> just let me know. Let a home know, please. My eyelashes just really like it. Ooh, so pretty. I love this. Okay, next, this mysterious mirror that I've been using is housing the barest bronzer from the Estee Edit in medium deep. Kendall Jenner is the spokesperson for this brand. Have you seen that Pepsi commercial? <laughs> WTF Pepsi. It's a good bronzer though, <laughs> I gotta say. I just love it. It just gives me a lot of oomph. It has a beautiful undertone, like very like red, like it looks like a tan. It's very like almost reddish. But I've been, I've been living in that bronzer. I've been just living in it. Okay, if you haven't tried these blushes from NYX, I'm gonna tell you right now, maybe give them a shot. These are the ombre blushes. I have this one, Strictly Chic, which is like a really vibrant peach, and this one, which is Mauve Me, which is a uh, mauve. So I'm gonna use that. Ugh. I love this just disco blush. It's so nice. I've been loving these blushes. The ombre blushes from NYX. I think they're like 10 bucks. They're beautiful. Beautiful. So zy -wosies. Oh, best highlighter in the game right now. Are you ready for this? I'm so mad at how good this highlighter is. Let me put it on. And then when I tell you what it is, you're going to be as mad as I am. You're going to be furious. By furious, I mean like excited, devastated. I think the kids are saying shook. Guess what? I can't find my highlighting brush right now. So I'm going to use something different. This is a much smaller brush than I would usually use, but... I like to put highlighter on 
the apples in my cheeks. Oh my god. Glowing like a disco ball. Some of that down the center of my nose because I love the way that looks. Just coasting gently on the tops of my lips. Do you see that? The absolute glow. <laughs> um, this is an eyeshadow. This is a $3 eyeshadow from Maybelline. It's called The Glow Down. I will link the video that I first saw this in down below. It's by a YouTuber named Melissa Alatore. She's beautiful. She looks like a sensual demon. She's so stunning. And she did a whole video on this and like just threw it all over her body and like compared it to a bunch of different high-end highlighters. But this, if you can find this in the store, grab a bunch. It's called The Glow Down. It's like $2.99 from Maybelline and it is the most devastatingly beautiful highlighter. I love it. I think I'm going to add some false eyelashes too because I have been living and breathing for these. This lash glue that I got too, I love it. This is from Tarte and this is their Tartus Pro Lash Glue. I got the one in clear. And I've been using it with these. Oh, these are the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. If you've been watching YouTube for any length of time, you know I'm like hella like 2000 and late with these, but here's what I like about them. They look totally different on everybody that I've seen them on. I feel like I'm pretty good. Like I can be like, oh, those are Ardell Wispies or those are Demi Wispies or something like that. Like, or those are individuals. Like I can kind of like, I can see what's going on in terms of like, lash game. These, every time I've seen someone and I've been like, damn, like what lashes are they wearing? And I can't figure it out. It's been these. They just, it, it just depends on the eye shape that they're on. What I love about this glue so much is that your eyelashes stay put, but when you're ready to remove them, they're easy to remove and it doesn't leave globs of like hard to remove glue on my eyelid. That is the thing that I love the most about this glue. It doesn't leave crazy amounts of residue on my skin. It's amazing. Oopsies. So those are House of Lashes Iconics with the Tarte, the Tarte lash glue that I showed you that I threw somewhere and now I don't know where it is. <laughs> We've doused ourselves in literally every product known to man. Let's put on a lip. I never tried these before and then I just like freaked out one day and bought a bunch of them. And these are the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks. My favorite one has been Red Rum. It's like a creamy, vibrant red. It's not like ultra, ultra bright, but it's not too warm. I don't know. It's just like a really damn good red. This is the color Celebrity Skin. That's what I'm going to put on for you right now. Right about now. And this is like a really delicious nude. Kind of pinky brownie mauve -y. Just going to put a brown lip liner on. I love it. I love this color so It feels really nice on. They wear really nicely. Yeah, yeah. I would probably stop here. <laughs> but I wanna show you this too. This is the little mini guy. I went and got the full size one because I love this so much. I wanted to have one for each bag, a little pocket size one. I wanted to just have this with me at all times. This is Jouer Skinny Dip Lip Topper. What was this hand? But lip topper, it's like, it has like a lip gloss type of finish, but it's not uh, glossy. I don't know how to explain this finish. Super, hyper, ultra glittery. My face is doused in glitter. I feel like a princess in this. Like, I feel like straight up Elsa from Frozen. Ugh. Ooh, this is so sexy and it goes on bare lips really beautifully like you can just build this like glittery extravaganza lip and it's so effing pretty 
I love this. I love this. It comes in a few different colors, but this one, this one is my heart inside of a tube, which sounds grim, but not when it looks like this. Hmm. Okay, now that we've got the entire universe of like shine products on, this was my favorites video. Let me zoom out so we can talk like human beings. Let me know what your favorites from March were and I will see you, you. I mean, I'm looking in the camera, but I will feel you. I'll feel you in the next video. No, sounds like some weird thing I would find on a different part of the internet, no. Okay, I'll see you next time, bye.